Hey everyone, going to look at number 14 in section 2.2. Uh, when I pulled this up, by the way, it took a while for this figure to, to load. I don't know uh, why, but uh, it took some time. It was like I sat there for, you know, 30 seconds or so. So if it doesn't initially show up, just take your time and, and, and wait a little bit. Um, hopefully it will show up. So we've got different points. In this case, we're to find uh, the one-sided limit. Um, in this one-sided limit, you can see here is the limit as x approaches c, and you can see that little minus sign afterwards. Again, they put it as a superscript after the c. I usually just put it right after the c because it's kind of hard to see sometime, sometimes. So um, uh, this is the limit as we approach c from the negative side. So here's c. There's the value of x, c. And we're approaching from the negative side, which is from a below. So we're coming from the left side and approaching C. And so we're on the curve here. And it clearly looks like we have a vertical asymptote at uh, X equals C. And the function is going down, down, down. And so it looks like we have a limit of what negative infinity as we approach C from the negative side. And so we are going to use the infinity symbol. We come here, I type the minus sign. The infinity symbol is right down here. And um, just click that, and it'll copy it there. And then let's check our answer. Did we get it correct? Yay. All right. That's good. That's good. All right, I hope this helps on this one. Very simple and easy, but again, with these figures, sometimes they take a little bit to load. So let me know how that's going. 